All right, today we're going to be discussing whether or not you can have a hair transplant with retrograde alopecia. But before we get started, if you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. And if you guys like the content, go ahead and give me a like. And if you think anybody would benefit from this video, go ahead and share with them. All right, now let's get started. Okay, so what is retrograde alopecia? Retrograde alopecia is a form of hair loss that affects the nape and just behind the ears. Uh, it's a condition that causes the hair on the back of your head to actually recede upward into the donor zone. And this is why a lot of people feel that those with retrograde alopecia are not candidates for hair transplant surgery. Now, having said that, I actually have retrograde alopecia. I know it's a little bit difficult to, to tell now, um, but I actually do, and I'm gonna link a couple of pictures to show you guys that, I, yes, in fact, I did have retrograde alopecia. However, uh, I haven't noticed any additional hair loss in my hair transplanted uh, recipient zone or in the actual zone um, where I, I'm suffering from this condition. I don't think that you're automatically excluded from having a hair transplant if you have retrograde alopecia, but you definitely need to be more conservative and you need to tell the doctor to never take any hair at the nape. Uh, some doctors will remove some hair uh, in the nape and put it in your hairline because it's generally softer and it makes the hairline look a lot more natural. But if you have retrograde alopecia, that is not permanent hair. So definitely do not have your surgeon take any hair from there if you believe that you may be suffering from this condition. Now, I'm gonna get into how you actually diagnose whether or not you have retrograde alopecia. Okay, so really the only way to diagnose it is to go to a surgeon that has a microscopic device that can actually detect miniaturization. So, um, hair transplant surgeons usually have these cameras that can film your donor area and look at your hair uh, at the microscopic level. And this is how you're gonna know whether or not you have significant miniaturization in the back of your uh, nape. Now, if you guys are interested in uh, consulting with some surgeons, I'm gonna go ahead and link our list of recommended surgeons in the description box. 99% uh, of them do not charge for a consultation. Uh, some do, so you may want to call them before scheduling a consultation. Also, if you guys are interested in having a hair transplant and you wanna see who's doing good work, I'm going to link the Hair Restoration Network form in the description box. Guys, there are thousands of real patient posted results and guys posting their journey there every day. And you can see the good, the bad, and the ugly and who's doing good work. All right, till next time.